center of the cyclone is planets revolving, covered in microbes and plants evolving, animals following the dance and dissolving, but this problem needs resolving. So what you know about natural selection? Go ahead and ask a question and see where the answer gets you. Try being passive-aggressive or try smashing heads in and see which one brings your plans to fruition. And if you have an explanation in mind, then you're wasting your time, because the best watchmaker is blind. It takes a certain base kind of impatient mind to explain away nature with intelligent design. But the truth shall set you free from stupidity and superstitious belief in Adam and Eve and that Edenic myth, because their family tree is showing some genetic drift. Take it from this bald-headed, non-celibate monk with the lyrical equivalent of an elephant's trunk. It's time to elevate your mind state and celebrate your kinship with the primates. Because at the center of the cyclone, this planet's revolving, covered in microbes and plants evolving, animals following the dance and dissolving, but this problem needs revol resolving. Okay, it's time to reveal my identity. I'm the manifestation of tens of millions of centuries of sexual selection. Best believe I'm the best of the best of the best of the best of <laughs> generations of competitive pressure genetically. But don't get upset, because we got the same pedigree. You and I will find a common ancestor eventually if we rewind geological time regressively. And I could say the same for this hibiscus tree, and this lizard, and this flea, and the sesame seed. And if you still disbelieve in what your senses perceive, then I could even use this rhyme as a remedy, because there's so much variation in the styles in this industry and differential selection when the people listening decide what they're into and what really isn't interesting. You can thrive like Timberlake on a Timberland beat or go extinct like Vanilla Ice and sync. It's <laughs> survival of the fittest, but fitness is a tricky thing. It changes from place to place and from winter to spring, but the real question in this social scientific simile is heredity, whether we inherit our techniques from our predecessors or invent them independently. But then we're talking means, and that's a different thing. Richard Dawkins, did I get a proper for definition, please. At the center of the cyclone, these planets revolving, covered in microbes and plants evolving, animals following the dance and dissolving, but this problem needs resolving. I hear some people complain, like, I don't want to be an ape. I never came from monkey DNA. I believe God made me in a day. Jesus saves. Yeah, he's great. But stop being afraid to use the reason he gave you to let science solve some giant problems and let your minds evolve. I think it's time for y'all to find some final results and, and listen to a different kind of silent call, the kind that comes from pine trees and not pine saw. I'm talking about the mystical vision that Einstein saw, wondering at the depth of divine thought and realizing that scripture can never define God. Because if there is a personal God, then he's been jerking off. So why would he bother, why would he bother designing an albatross? And especially when natural selection does such an excellent job of giving us the ability to question whether it even exists or not. You know? <laughs> Thank you.